Only on six tonight when the Orlando Police Department changed just a few words in its department policy, it made all the difference in recruiting the best officers and helping them to connect with the community. That's according to the police chief. So the change allowing officers with tattoos on their arms to show them instead of requiring them to be covered up. News 6's Eric Von Anken sits down with the police chief and an officer with some serious tattoos to see why the change is getting results together. By all accounts, James Baker is an effective police officer with Orlando PD's Neighborhood Patrol Unit. How you doing, Mr. Yeah, Willis? I'm, I'm, I'm James, Officer James. Tasked with getting to know neighbors in areas of high crime. But OPD almost never came to know him. This one is one of my favorites, it's the Joker, but... It says, why so serious? Entirely because of this. If when you had applied for the Orlando Police Department, they would not have let you show any of your tattoos. I probably would have reconsidered. Baker's arms, as you can see, are full of art, he says. It's a form of expression. Um, it allows you to know what I'm into and what I enjoy. Um, it shows you that I'm a normal person. It used to be that anything below uh, the sleeve could not be shown. Orlando's police chief, Orlando Rallone, finally changed the long-standing department policy that required officers to cover up their arms if they have tattoos. We are a reflection of the community that we serve. We're hiring people from the community that we're serving. So we have to stay uh, on top of the changing trends, and this is one that I believe was an easy decision. It's only the latest policy overhaul, the chief says, after allowing facial hair and more relaxed uniforms. And you were also losing out on officer candidates. Unfortunately, because of the weather here, it's very humid during the summer, very hot, to request or ask them to wear long sleeves or sleeves over their tattoos probably made a, a difference in their decision to go elsewhere. So we do believe it's also gonna help us with our recruitment efforts. Growing up, people used to say that tattoos weren't professional. I used to hear that a lot, um, but recently I haven't heard it at all. And Officer Baker says there's another benefit to the tattoo policy update. Showing his tattoos, he says, makes him even more effective. I've been out on places where there are youth there and they see me with the tattoos and they're like, oh, you have tattoos, you're pretty cool. Like just based solely on that. They think I'm cool and I'm just a regular guy all of a sudden. It's no longer just a uniform. And we need to be clear, this new tattoo policy is still very strict when it comes to the type of tattoo that an officer can have. The chief tells me that there's a vetting process for any questionable tattoos that a candidate may have or potential tattoos that an existing officer is thinking about getting. The chief says that all of them must be appropriate. At Orlando Place headquarters, Eric Von Aiken getting results together. News 6.